All right, the question here is, did Lamar Jackson silence all of his critics? Should they start working on his Canton bust? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, work on that bust. It ain't going to look like him. You already know how they're going to mess that up. I know who's sitting next to me, so I'm going to be yeah. quick in my first go around. Um, if you watch this guy play, even in college, you realize that even when he won the Heisman Trophy the year after, he looked better in the pocket despite not having the same success and accolade. So then you remove that and you get to the NFL level. And if you watched him carefully, this wasn't a guy who couldn't throw the football. This was a guy who wasn't comfortable throwing the football in his first year as the game didn't slow down for him because he was thrown to the wolves halfway through the season. So I walked into this offseason saying it all offseason, along with Warren Sharp, uh, this guy can play if the game slows down. Well, game one, evidence is in. The game has slowed down for him. So this is right on pace for what I expected for Lamar Jackson. No Hall of Fame candidacy yet, but the guy's going to be good. Well, you, you keep playing like that. He'll definitely be on his way. But, I mean, like you said, year one and year two is totally different as far as field. And, obviously, he's been working on his passing game, his accuracy um, throughout this offseason. And, and, and in talking to him and people around him, I know that's what he's been doing. But what was so cool about yesterday was the fact that their system, it wasn't a spread system. You know, it wasn't, you know, identical to what we see, you know, mm -hmm. on a normal basis around the NFL. It was their system. It, it, it's not, you know, wide open, but it's suited for Lamar. And it was very accurate and efficient. And the thing is, it's going to be very difficult to stop. They'll take this. He'll learn from this. He'll get more out of this than, than what he got even yesterday. So the thing for him is to just keep building on this. His coaching staff obviously put a great game plan together to make him efficient, to make him look like he did yesterday. You know, I don't know where this goes for Lamar, and I don't think he has to continue to, to, to fight that fight and if he's a passer, if he's just a runner. Play your game, have fun, man. That's what you do. You don't have to worry about silencing the critics. Play your game, man. Be yourself. And that's what he did yesterday. That's why he was so successful. I loved it because this is exactly what Baltimore talked about doing. Like, if you listen to Baltimore in the offseason, John Harbaugh had talked about revolutionizing football, meaning taking some things that people do in college and really building an offensive system that is for the new school playmaker at quarterback. Mm. All those guys that we see on Friday nights and Saturdays, they're more like Lamar mm. than the other guys. So yeah. what the Baltimore Ravens are doing is, hey, rather than shun you like so many teams are doing, no, 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 we want all of those guys. Yeah. And then when I looked at this offense, if you go back and look at how Lamar played at Louisville, I think people forget that he played for Bobby, Bobby Petrino. Petrino. Yeah. He played for a guy who is respected as a quarterback guy, a guy who has pelts on the wall and the like. I saw them run a lot of the stuff that he ran in Louisville. I will still say his biggest issue is when he has to throw the ball outside the numbers. Yeah. Lamar Jackson is at his best when it's inside the numbers, in breaking routes, isolation routes, and pushing it down the field. If you allow him to do what he's always done successfully at Louisville, he is going to be successful. All right, I'm going to be the wet blanket. No surprise. Yeah, always. They should, they should shoot a deodorant commercial <laughs> off that game last night. Because <laughs> I've never seen a quarterback that dry. In mm. Miami. Mm. This dude... I mean, yeah, he wasn't sweating. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that offensive line had a force field around him, and it's like, I'm the first person in this discussion to mention the Miami Dolphins. That was worse than an expansion team he faced last night or yesterday. That was a Dolphins team that was hot garbage, couldn't get close to the quarterback. This dude was sitting so dry in the pocket. If he hadn't done these things, we would be shocked. RG3 came in at the end of the game, five for five and a touchdown. Nobody the Dolphins tried to defend had any problems yesterday. I don't want to rain on Lamar Jackson because what he did yesterday is promising. It will help his confidence. Anytime you put up those kind of numbers and have that kind of success in the NFL, it should help you grow and evolve and give you that confidence. And just him feeling like, I can do this, is going to help him moving forward. But I want to see it against someone beyond this Miami Dolphins team that might be one of the worst rosters we've ever seen in the NFL. Uh, look, I don't want to sound cliche, but obviously you can only beat the opponent in front of you and yep. you're facing, yeah. right? Um, but what I love about even beating Miami for Lamar Jackson is what it did for him between the ears. You got to remember the confidence building that is going on in Baltimore with him. Yeah. And this goes back to last year in terms of his mental makeup. 
And if you think about it, this guy was drafted to a team that had Joe Flacco. Y'all can laugh at Joe Flacco all you want, mm -hmm. but he did win a Super Bowl for yeah. his team. You can laugh at Joe Flacco all you want. He was the money man on that squad, and that comes with great equity and power. And you're in the quarterback room with this guy, it is a very uncomfortable situation when you already have your critics and doubters saying you can't even play the position in the first place. So mentally, that weight is taken off him. And then he walks into week one, and then everybody who's ever played in the league knows week one, for a new starter or a guy who has a lot to prove is a lot. And we saw it go two different ways yesterday. <clears throat> Baker Mayfield, three interceptions on a big week one after all that talk mm -hmm. this offseason. Then we saw Dak Prescott go the other way with Lamar Jackson. My point is, let's not undermine or understate how mentally strong that guy is to take all of that and ball out. No, I, th I, th I think it was a tremendous effort by him, and you certainly want to build on it. And, look, we can talk about the Miami Dolphins and their team, but when I look, they got NFL on their jersey. They're NFL players, mm -hmm. and he lit them up. And I don't know the Lucky line. He was dry. I don't, I don't think the line was 40-plus going was, into the game. I, I, listen, that looked like 7-on-7 seven seven out there. It, you it, know, did. You know, <laughs> it did. You know why he was so dry? Because the Miami Dolphins didn't know what to expect. All offseason, you hear John Harbaugh saying, you know, we're going to – Lamar's going to be run heavy. He's going to revolutionize the game or the position. They didn't know what to expect. So this may be, you know, above average defense, but, you know, they was thinking more run heavy. They, Lamar passed them out of the stadium. That's a point I hadn't thought of, Mike. So, I mean, it all, it, it all remains to be seen. I'm with you, Jay. I, I, I cannot wait to see week two, what happens next week, week three, watch this whole progression and how this offense look as we move forward. I, Mike, I'm going to tell you why that's a great point because, again, they did sell all offseason like, you've never seen what yeah. we're going to do before. Yeah. And so I could imagine Brian Flores, first-year head coach, new staff. Mm, stop mm. the run. What, what, hey, what are we going to – and Lamar runs it three times. That's mm. it. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. they came right. in with a game plan of, like, how are we going to shut Lamar yeah, down right, in the Russian right. game? How are we going to – you know, they're just going to jam it down our throats. They got Mark Ingram. And then they came out and did this, and they caught him with their pants down. Yeah. Hats off to the – Lip it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak For Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.